what is up guys ice361 here back with another video and in today's video i'm gonna talk about something controversial in the new fortnite season uh if you don't know if you have not played fortnite chapter 3 season 2 you would realize okay that they completely completely removed building from the game they completely removed building in fortnite now it's not fully gone it's gone in arena i mean no it's it's still here in arena and creative it is gone from your average solos duos trios and squads now i like this change i'm gonna be completely honest i like this change I prefer having no building than building. And that's something weird to say from a Fortnite player. Um, a, a long-term Fortnite player too. I think from my, my entire, like the entire time that this game has been out, the only time I ever quit the game was chapter two, season four, five six and seven those four seasons i did not play the game well i played i i played chapter two season four i got to level like 150 and then i got really fed up with the game midway through the season and i quit but i quit midway through chapter two season four i did not play chapter two season five six seven i did not play any of those seasons i got back into the game chapter 2 season 8 now i played all of chapter 1 like literally all of chapter 1 every single day for like i don't even know like like 14 hours a day every single day chapter 1 the the longest i've ever been without fortnite in chapter 1 was in 2019 i went to florida for 10 days that entire 10 days i didn't play fortnite but that was it i was a true true fortnite kid back in the day i was a true true fortnite kid so a fortnite kid like me now i'm i'm 17 years old okay right now i am 17 years old I still play Fortnite day in and day out. I love this game now. Chapter 3 is so fun. Ever since Chapter 3 first came out, this game has been like my favorite game again. But here's the thing. Okay, building has been a part of Fortnite for the entire lifespan of the game. Building has been in the game forever, basically. And... The only time that we have ever seen no building in Fortnite was season 10 when they uh, replaced Neo Tilted for Tilted Town. Tilted Town was the only place in the entire game that you could not build. And it's the only time we've ever seen no building in Fortnite. I did not like it in Tilted Town. But I'm telling you now chapter three season two i love having no building i love having no building in this game it is so fun not having to deal with sweats this game is so fun the only issue i have is the tanks okay the only issue i have is the tanks but the tanks are not that big of a deal they're not that big of a deal you can you can shoot the lid of the driver's seat so you can kill the person in the driver's seat. When someone's on the turret, you can hijack them and kill them while they're on the turret. Or you could even hit their head while they're shooting you on the turret. It's not a problem. You can still kill the people in the tanks when they're driving a tank. The only issue is that it, it breaks your only cover. Your only cover is trees now, and it can break down trees in one hit. That's the only issue with the tanks. Now, here's the thing. 
This is what I think. What I think that Epic Games should do for the building situation. Now, I know that building is coming back nine days into the season. The only reason why building is gone, it's not because building is vaulted or any of that. It's because it's a part of the storyline. It's a part of the storyline. The bad guys, which are the IO guards, they took over control of the map and the... I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's like the radiation of the map or something like that is preventing you to build. And it's leaked that in nine days from now, the foundation will stop that radiation and bring building back. So building is... Is, is here to stay building is here to stay it is coming back but this is the thing okay every youtuber every streamer that talks about this they all say they love having no building in fortnite it brings back that og nostalgic days when nobody knew how to build that's what it is it brings back those og Season 1, Chapter 1, Season 1 to Chapter 1, Season 5 days where nobody knew how to build and they were just running around the map cluelessly. It brings back those OG days that we all OG players know and love. So, I think, this is what I think, this is what I hope, and this is what I want Epic Games to do about the building. I want them to bring it back, but there's two options. It's either they bring it back and they make it a game mode that you can still choose to play Fortnite without building. I want it so you can choose to play Fortnite without building. So if I'm feeling like building, I can go to a permanent game mode, not an LTM, a permanent game mode where I can build and if I feel like not building I can go into a permanent game mode where I can't build that would be the best solution that would be the solution that I would want or or another solution that I would be okay with I would not prefer but I would be okay with if they brought back building but they reduced the max amount of materials you can have Right now, the max amount of materials that you can have is 999 wood, 999 metal, and 999 brick. So you basically have 3,000 materials total. I want them, I know it's not a lot, but I want them to reduce that amount to, now hear me out, hear me out, I know it's not a lot of materials, but I want them to reduce their amount to at least... 100 of every material at least 100 at most 250 of every material at most at least 100 because like listen the only reason why the game is so fun right now the only reason why everyone's having fun with the game right now is because everyone is winning <laughs> everyone is winning when there's no building let's be real okay from what we have seen from yesterday and the day before the last two days that this season has been out let's be real the two things or the one thing we have noticed from the last two days that this season has been out is that when there's no building the game is balanced the game is fair okay you could say that now controller players have that aim assist over uh the pc players i mean i knew aim assist was always like i play controller and i will say that aim assist is strong it is a little unfair but i think personally i think that fps is way more op than aim assist if you're a pc player and you have like a thousand fps that is way more op than having 60 fps on a ps4 with the with aim assist I'm one of those where I think that FPS is way more OP than aim assist. But now that there's no building involved, because FPS was only OP for taking walls, building, all that stuff. Ping, okay, ping. Taking walls, taking builds, ping was a major issue for that. If you had a higher ping than someone, you were not taking their builds. You need at least 10 ping or lower to take someone's builds. 
But now that there's no building, ping is not an issue. FPS is not an issue. FPS is not that OP anymore. Because there's no builds involved. There's no builds involved, so FPS is not that much of an issue anymore. The only issue now you could say is aim assist with all the SMGs that are in the game right now. I do know that as a controller player myself, I did not think that aim assist was that much of a problem last season, but this season when there's no builds, I can see why you PC players think it's a problem. Obviously now you can't build, you can't protect yourself, so I can see why you think it's a problem. And I'm not saying it is a problem because I know that us controller players need aim assist you guys you pc players play with a mouse us we play with this i have an extension to make it smoother or else i'd be playing with this like it is a little unfair if you think about it we have aim assist for a reason we have aim assist for a reason yeah it might be a little strong but that's epic games that made it strong because if you look at games like call of duty aim assist is not strong in call of duty but Epic Games made it strong in Fortnite. But I'm not here to talk about aim assist and FPS. I'm here to talk about building. And the game is fun right now. It brought back a bunch of OG Fortnite players back to the game because it reminds them of the days when nobody knew how to build, when nobody was a sweat. I won yesterday alone. I'm recording this video on day two of uh, chapter two, season two. So yes, for me, yesterday was the day that the season came out. I got five wins in one day. Now that might not seem like a lot, but I don't play Fortnite like hardcore try hard. I I'm not a sweat at this game. I do know how to build pretty good. I do know how to edit pretty smooth. I do hit a lot of good headshots and a lot of good shots. I am good at Fortnite. I am really good at Fortnite. But when I play pubs, I usually don't win. Because my skill-based matchmaking is insane compared to the level that I actually am. So I usually place top 25 top 20 every game i rarely come no i don't rarely come top 10 but i come top 10 once every like 10 games i play now i'm coming top 10 every single game i play because i have not okay not only do i have aim assist obviously but i've been playing playstation okay i've been playing playstation since i was four years old i'm not kidding when I was four years old, I was playing Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 when I was four years old. So, do the math. I've been playing PlayStation. I've been playing with a controller for majority of my life. Like, it's insane. So, I have naturally good aim, even if I turn off aim assist. So, obviously, I have that boost from aim assist but because i'm good at the game the game is easy and that's what fortnite always was aiming is easy hitting your shots in fortnite is easy if you're a new player play for a week you will learn play for these nine days that there's no building Th these nine days that there's no building can let you learn how to aim properly if you're not that great of a player so i really like how they remove building i really hope they keep it in some way i really hope when they bring back building they at least reduce the amount of materials because right now epic games is getting a ton of good feedback everyone i every time i scroll to through twitter i never see a single bad tweet or bad comment about people saying that building no building is bad everyone is saying that no building in fortnite is super fun and i'm one of them so epic games please if you're watching this i highly doubt you will but if you're watching this please keep 
no building in some way whether you make a no building game mode for solo duo trio squad permanent game mode or you make it so you reduce the amount of materials to at least 100 materials for each wood brick and metal and at most 250 but i would prefer 100 or at least make it 250 overall you know like you can have uh however much brick metal uh wood but it has to add up to 250 like make it like that or something like that i don't know just keep it in some way we don't want sweats we don't want sweats removing building is the only way to remove sweats and it's working because i'm winning every game i play pretty much <laughs> like every new player every player who's average or above average or semi-pro who don't win a lot of games are winning a lot of games and they're having a ton of fun doing it the only thing i ask is nerf the the tanks that's it nerf them a bit make it so the cannon doesn't immediately destroy our cover that's it the turret you can keep it the way it is <laughs> that's it that's all i ask anyway that is the end of the video we got a face cam now i told you guys this year i'm doing youtube professionally if you saw me look this way throughout the entire video it's because my laptop is there and i'm just checking if everything's okay because uh, this is my first time recording with face cam. So I'm just checking if everything's okay, you know. But um, that is the end of the video. We are so close to 5,000 subscribers. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you are. Like this video. Share this video with your friends so they can let me know their opinion. Let me know your guys' opinion in the comment section. And I'll see you all in another video. Peace.